everybody. All right, so we're here with uh, DC State coach Peyton Howard and starting pitcher Dylan File. Uh, coach, I'd just like to open up with a comment. You played a uh, game that was really similar to the one you had yesterday this this time, and it was the uh, opposite outcome. What kind of was the things that you know separated the win from the loss yesterday? Well, I mean, yesterday we just walked too many guys. You know, we can overcome. Today we make an error, give up two or three hits, but we can overcome that. And when it's when it's walk after walk and, and just not executing pitches, we tend to just lose focus a little bit. So, you know, he did a great job of pounding the zone. I mean, I think we had he had one or two walks throughout, but we did a really good job of overcoming those small things and, and, and hit singles here and there, and we really scattered those singles. And then obviously the bunt defense, you know, they get a good situation to move some runners, and he does a good job coming off and fielding that. I mean, that was a big momentum play for us. So. Ultimately, we just stayed with what we do. We pitch and play defense, and we'll try and scratch for enough runs to outscore the other guys. And that's what we did both days, and came up on the good side today. Hey, Coach Dennis for the LA Daily News. Uh, he were riding Dylan as far as he would go. Seems like he was into the seventh inning, sixth or seventh inning, and throwing about 75 pitches. Uh, what did you see that was effective for him today? Well, I mean, he's been good all year. You know, he's a freshman of the year in our conference. He's now six and one. And, we gave away two wins late in the year. That he, I mean, he could be eight or nine and one right now. You know, we we gave a couple away late after we took him out. Um, he's had a good year. You know, he's a freshman. You know, so we've tried not to labor the arm too much. This is the most he's ever thrown for the longest period of time. So, I mean, we were going to ride him, but our bullpen's been our strength. You know, the, the the two guys we finished with, as well as Colton Bros. And so, he threw really good. Just velocity dropped just a little bit. You know, we just felt like it was the right matchup with the with Alderman in that spot with some plus slider stuff. Having only scored three runs so far, do you feel fortunate to be one and one right now? No, I'm proud because yeah. that, that's who we are. You know, we'll, we'll, that's who we've prided ourselves since I've been here for three years. We're about pitching and defense, and we'll try and score one more than the other guy. That's why we, we'll bunt the first inning. We'll bunt any time because that's the way we want to play. And, and, you know, in the most important time, that's who we are. So that's who we're going to be. And, you know, the bats will come. That's just something that happens. But, you know, pitching and defense is something that, we take a lot of pride in it, and that's what we want to show up every single day in Hassel Park. Right. You're one of the only two teams not really affected by the weather going on this weekend. Do you think the continuity and the consistency has helped you guys? Well, we felt good about that. You know, we yeah. felt good that we didn't have to sit around or we didn't have to change our schedule. Obviously, Malone ends right. up having to play a doubleheader today, you know, and so maybe it, it, it dings them a little bit. But, you know, we'll show up when they tell us to show up, and we'll get after it. Dylan, what did you feel like tonight was working for you? I was trying to throw strikes, miss barrels, and yeah. that's kind of what I did. Good ball and play for my team to do their job. Did you guys scout them earlier this morning? No, but we, we played them four times to right. start the year. So, right. I mean, we and we, we opened up with them last year. I mean, we kind of know who they are. And, you know, we want to have notes and have some information on teams. But for the most part, you know, we put on our, on our, on our plan every day, it says our opponent is the game. You know, we never put Cal Poly Pomona or Cal Baptist. We put the game, and that's right. who we try and play against. Yeah, we're going to pitch to certain hitters, and him and Coach Martinez go through some plans with that. And, but for the most part, we just try and execute our pitches, you know, and play the game. Having the four losses early in the season, can you tell us maybe a one or two things that you thought you wanted to do differently than today? Well, we were throwing and playing a bunch of freshmen, yeah. you know, and, and it was their first time out. Now it's 50 games into it, you know. So we're just a different group, yeah. you know. I think anybody that saw us play early in the year would know that we're a completely different group. We. And I, and I took the blame for that early. You know, we didn't prepare the right way. We weren't prepared appropriately for the start of the season. And, but, but you know, we've got three freshmen, or five freshmen that have thrown a lot, three that have thrown in our rotation throughout the year. Um, we're playing, you know, four or five freshmen and sophomores in the field at any time. So, you know, it was, I mean, it was one of the best, probably 15 teams in the nation. So to open up with them, which led to freshmen, was, was tough. It took right. us some time to, to mature and, and get a little bit better and get some confidence. Going up against Cody Ponce, a projected high MLB draft, <coughs> uh, did you feel any pressure to, to put the team on your back today? Not really. We uh, facing him. I, actually, I matched up with him when we played him earlier on in the year. And uh, like you said, that was my first game as a collegiate athlete. And, um, seeing his stuff and seeing how we hit him earlier on in the year, it gave me a lot of confidence. So I just tried to go out there and. Right. Throw strikes and do my job. Pitching in a scoreless ball game uh, as the innings gone on, did you was there a sense that eventually you guys would break through, or what was going on with, with the offense? Do you think? Uh, well, like so he's a good pitcher, so yeah. scoreless ball game was kind of what we expected deep into the game. So um, I don't really think it put any pressure. I was just doing my job. 
just waiting for them to do theirs. When you came out in the six, what were you thinking? Balls in all these hands. I was just hoping that you know he would do his job. Right. <laughs> and then your closer came in, did the job in the in the ninth, got the two quick strikeouts, and then walked a couple of guys. Right. And got him, yeah, he got struggled him. a little bit. To start. Right. He, he's our he's our school career leader in saves. He set the, the single season record now twice and the career record. So. And he's our guy. We're, we're going to ride him and win or lose with him. So um, we like the back end of our bullpen. You know, if we can get to the seventh, we feel pretty lucky. Great guys, thank you so much. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you.